Hey, what is up guys and welcome to the video. So in this video, we are gonna be checking out the amazing piece of software built by Bibu. Now, this software is pretty much like an all-in-one streaming software and they have loads of different really cool like things to help you make your stream look amazing and also run amazing. So before we get into the video, be sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, also like the video and be sure you click the bell. So this new all-in-one streaming software built by Bibu, it's pretty amazing. As you can see here, here we have like kind of the home screen is just what I'm going to call it. However, it's called the live tab. Anyway, as you can see on the left, we have the activity tab. So if you have like people following or subscribing or giving you donations or anything during your live stream, it will all pop up in the left part of this software. Now you also have your chat and you also be able to see your viewers and obviously have a bit of a preview of what your gameplay and everything looks like as you can see there. Now there's also different scenes. Now I'm going to be talking about all those scenes in just a second. As you can see there, there is a little look at one of the transition screens. There's loads of different transition screens. However, I really like that one. It was, it was pretty cool. It was, it was really clean. Now. The transition screens and all your different scenes, they make it really easy for you to be able to set up all your different scenes and just make your stream look different from everyone else's. Now that's really what you need to be able to do when it comes to streaming, especially streaming Fortnite with it being such a popular game. Now if you're just trying to get into streaming or if you're a new streamer or you have been streaming for the longest time, then you will probably know that being able to use a all-in-one kind of software, something that just really makes your job easier by giving you such an amazing piece of software. Now, with this software, as you can see, you're able to kind of switch around with your chat and enable like your preview screen. You also have a view counter so you can see how many views you have without having to have any other like tabs or having like Twitch open as Twitch does use quite a lot of your CPU usage. However, this software is definitely a lot cooler than just having just your Twitch open like on your browser. So as you can see here, you they do give you a lot of like customization. You're able to really kind of mess around with everything, move your chat over to different kind of sections, however you would like it. However, the way I liked it is having your activity is on the activities tab on the left. So you can see all your followers and like donations and everything over there. Now, as we get into the next part, we have the editor tab. Now this really sets apart this software from OBS and other like streaming and recording software. So as you can see in the kind of like top left, we have our scenes. Now within the scenes, I have a few different scenes set up so far. I have a scene for my gameplay, I have a scene for my intermission screen, like my starting screen and my ending screen. Now with this software, you're able to really customize all your different scenes and kind of change them up however you like it. With there being different transition screens and everything, you can really make your stream look really professional. So as you can see in the top center part of the screen, we have different settings like uh, your video, audio, uh, media, text, and pretty much everything for you to be able to customize your stream even more. So if you're using like a, a capture card, like an Elgato capture card, you can easily add that up into your scenes right there. Also, if you're using a webcam, you can easily add it in there. And if you want to use like a webcam overlay, if you have one of those, you can just add it in here by going into media and then going obviously into browsing your files on your computer and just adding in your webcam overlay. Obviously just put it right next to your webcam, like on top of your web webcam. <laughs> so as you can see here, we here we have a few different alerts. Now, if you're using like alerts through Streamlabs or through Moxie ticker, then you can just click on there and use them. However, this software already has a few different kind of like animated alerts that are just really cool. They look really sick and they'll look really funny if you add like a, a cool like song or something in there. Then you can really make your alerts just so sick pretty much. If you want to obviously you can add in them one by one like manually or you can just do it all in one by using like Streamlabs. However, right now I'm gonna do them like kind of 
uh, one by one manually. So I just added a host tab. As you can see there, there's like kind of an animated kind of stick figure, kind of like uh, doing some kind of dance. And it will obviously just say, this one was for a host. So if someone hosts me, then it will say like their name and then hosted you with this many viewers. And this is just how the alert will come up. So obviously there is a little tab there that says show auto host for zero viewers. If you don't want someone to host you for zero viewers, then you can disable that so that that alert won't show up if someone hosts you for like zero viewers. Like if they host you with like one viewer, then that alert will, no, will not show up. However, you are able to add in different alerts, obviously for like uh, tips, subscribers, everything follows bits. You can add them all in just here and this software does already have like really sick animated like alerts so that you can customize your stream and make it look amazing and it i guarantee it will definitely make your stream like a lot more professional and it will definitely i would like to say that i hope you your stream blows up pretty fast if you use this software and if you like kind of set it up and you make it look super professional with these alerts obviously anyway moving on we have like a animated kind of like a kill counter so obviously i know fortnite does have a kill counter like like itself the game has a kill counter however this software also has kind of like animated uh like tournament uh, kill counters so say you get 10 kills one game and then you get like 10 kills another game it will all show up on there with your total kills within your kill counter obviously if you are a streamer or a youtube content creator then i believe you're allowed to take part in these tournaments that bibu and i believe nerd up music are both hosting now these tournaments are obviously like you can win money or v bucks and loads of different things they have some really cool prizes for taking part in their tournaments so if you are a youtube content creator or a twitch partner you might be able to go and take part in some of these tournaments that they are hosting if you would like some more information i might put some more information down in the description anyway moving on with the video we're going to be taking a look at one of the highlights tabs that is on here so if you go and you get like a a really sick kill or something and uh, the software just kind of like it clips it for you and it puts it into like a few seconds clip like a minute clip or so like here is just one of my clips that i got um while i was streaming with the software this guy didn't really know what was going on it was kind of like an unfair kill but anyway as you could obviously see that's just like a highlights clip and I believe you can add these into your stream, into your scenes. So you can kind of replay like a highlight of like a previous clip or of something that just happened. So now we're going to be taking a look at the tips section. As you can see, they make it super easy for you to be able to set up your donations. There's only three simple steps. And step one, obviously, as you can see, if you've signed in with your Twitch account, then you will have a link for which obviously if you go and put this link which you can see your link will be underneath step one take this link go and put it into your twitch as like a command through a bot or something which will take in a look at the uh, bot and uh, commands and stuff in just a second however if you take this link and you go and put it on your twitch profile as a command or just underneath as one of the little uh, boxes if you put it in there or something like uh like click here to donate or something then you can do that with this link anyway moving on here we have the leaderboards obviously there's a massive community that also uses this software and streams with this software so if you can go and stream a lot with this software then i believe you can make your way up into the leaderboards and other people can also see you so now we're going to be taking a look quickly at the stream settings whether you want to stream in 720p 900p or 1920 by 1080 you can also select your resolution and your bitrate and your encoder whether if you have an nvidia graphics card then you can just select the nvenc encoder however if you don't have an nvidia encoder you can just use the x264 encoder and just select your encoder quality whether you want to be streaming in faster or slower 
that's up to you depending on obviously your PC specs. So now we've taken a look quickly at the Bebo bot. You can set up loads of different commands and set up custom commands. However, I might take a look at setting up the custom commands in another video. If you would like to make me, if you would like me to make another video showing you how to set up the custom commands and everything, let me know down in let me know down in the comment section. Anyway, moving on here, we have hotkeys, so you can set up if you have uh, one of them Elgato uh, stream decks where you have loads of different buttons, so you can switch between your scenes if you want to switch to your gameplay or you want to switch to your intermission screen then you can do that by easily setting up a hotkey obviously there's loads of different options so you can really customize it and uh, do this however you would like if you would like to or if you don't want to that's really up to you if you want to use hotkeys so definitely one of the coolest parts about this software is the built-in transition screens as you can see here there is loads of different ones and i'm sure they're probably going to be updating it with more so when you switch between your different scenes whether it's your you're switching to your gameplay or you're switching to your intermission screen or you're starting your stream and you're switching to your gameplay then you can choose to select different transitions whether it is the tech one or the bibu one there's just loads of different ones that you can choose if you would like to i think they're pretty cool anyway i think they're really like professional when you have a transition sc screen when you're switching between your different scenes that you are using so if you guys would like to go and check out this software i will have a link in the very top of the description so you can go and check it out i will also have a link for their twitter if you would like to go and tweet at bibu and ask them anything about the software i'm sure they will reply to you also go and follow them on twitter if you would like to obviously uh, i'll have a link for their twitter in the very top of the description with the link for this software so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did enjoy the video be sure to leave a like subscribe also turn on notifications for my channel i mainly upload gaming videos however i do do how to and kind of like tech unboxing videos so Without any further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and Yo, peace out. I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you. Come along.